As I told you in my Blu-ray DVD collection video, I will make videos showcasing all the Blu-rays and DVDs I bought during the month. So now after I did my Blu-ray DVD collection video, which is on my channel, so check it out, now I can start doing my monthly Blu-ray update videos. This video is what I like to call the movies I bought. <laughs> further ado, well, let's get right into it. So at the beginning of the month, I could not wait until I could finally get this on home video, and that is Avengers Age of Ultron. Now I have it on Steelbook, because I'm a big fan of Steelbook covers, and so it has the Avengers logo on it, but in the shape of how Ultron's um, armor is, And I, but I got the Steelbook with Ultron on the back, because I know there's a Steelbook with Vision on the back, but I wanted the one with Ultron, since Ultron is pretty much the theme of the movie. And you know it. And now, one thing I one thing I do not like is all the Marvel movies, starting with Thor: The Dark World. They're starting not to add the DVD copies in it, but yeah, it's whatever. And I have a 3D Blu-ray copy, but I don't have a 3D TV. I'm just I just have it in case one day I'm blessed enough to get a 3D TV and 3D Blu-ray, I can watch this on 3D. As for the special features and stuff, I'd say I was a little underwhelmed by it because. Because you know, cause I heard the movie was longer than the theatrical cut, and so I was expecting there to be a director's cut or whatever. I don't know if Marvel's going to allow Joss Whedon to release that. But with the deleted scenes I got on, but the delete, but with the deleted scenes we got on here, I'd say they were pretty good. I'd say my favorite one is the one with, with Thor in the cave, where he's in the water so he can get more of his vision. They expanded upon that a little bit, but other than that, it's whatever. But they did, they did have some good features on how the movie was made and stuff, so yeah. Good purchase to have on Blu-ray. I like this movie. Next up, I could not wait until they finally released this on Blu-ray. And that is Disney's Aladdin. Man, I could not wait to... This is the... Like, this is one of the crown jewels of Disney. It came out doing, doing one of my favorite eras of Disney, which is the Disney Renaissance, which consists of The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, The Lion King, and so on. All the Disney movies that came out during the 90s. And this was the one... Disney movie from that era that they had not released on Blu-ray. They released it in other countries, but not here in America. So I was happy when they finally released it here in America. And when I when I, I told you the the, day, the night I bought this, I watched this immediately. And my God, this looks so good on Blu-ray. They cleaned this up so good, and the they spent they improved upon the sound of the movie and the special features in it. A one, like there was a like like I watched the special features on here. There was a bunch of stuff I didn't know about the movie and how the movie was made. And there's actually a video of them recording a whole new world, and it was just so cool. And of course, they have the special feature of them showing all the outtakes and recording sessions of Robin Williams. There was so they were hilarious. I'll tell you that. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. But yeah, if you're a fan of Disney, I'd say cop this. And if you're a fan of the movie Aladdin, yeah, this is definitely a good purchase to have on Blu-ray. Next up, dope. If you've seen my review of this movie, you should check it out, and you know how I feel about this movie. But you know, this was a pretty. I thought this was a pretty good movie. I thought I didn't mind owning this on Blu-ray. As far as the special features, I was a bit underwhelmed. Like they did, like they had like two special special features on it. One of them was pretty good. The other one was meh. But yeah, I wish I'd have bought this on DVD instead of Blu-ray because it's really nothing special. But either way, good to own this Blu-ray, DVD, whatever though. So staying in the theme of Robert Williams. When I bought Aladdin and Dope, I also picked up Jumanji. They had this at Walmart for a fairly cheap price, and when I got it, I was happy. I, lo I, I peeked at this a little bit, some of my favorite scenes in the movie, and I'd say they pretty much cleaned this movie up pretty good, and it still holds, well, the special features is question. The special features is debatable on whether or not it holds up, but as a movie, I'd say it still holds up, and I heard that they're trying to remake this movie, so I'm kind of curious how they're going to handle that. And of course, Robert Williams, he's great in the movie. But I'd say this is a pretty good purchase, and one of the reasons why they released in this version of Jumanji on Blu-ray is because it's because of the release of Goosebumps. They had a couple special features on here about sneak peeks and how Goosebumps was made or whatever, you know, just to get people excited for it, because that's all the movie Goosebumps is, is Jumanji. But either way, Jumanji, I like this. In a quick story, I used to be afraid of this movie when I was younger, but as I grew older, I kind of came over my fear of this movie, so... You know, this comes full circle that I had this on Blu-ray. <laughs> I'm a grocery shopper one day, and then I saw this for $5.99. This is a Washington double feature Blu-ray, where it's on the movie moments. It has Men on Fire and Out of Time, both starring Denzel Washington. 
I actually love Man on Fire. It's one of my favorite Denzel Washington movies. Out of time, I only saw the movie a couple of times when it was first released or whatever. Wasn't too big on it, but I was like, hey, Man on Fire for a free Denzel Washington movie. And I love Denzel Washington. That's actually one of my favorite actors. So it's so like, yeah. What, peaked, at, peaked a couple of my favorite scenes on both of these movies, and I'd say they polished these up pretty good. So, yeah. Not much special features on them, though, but yeah, good to own. At least Man of Fire, that is. Next up, Jurassic World. If you've seen my review of this movie, you know how I feel about it. I actually saw this movie twice in theaters. The first time was with a friend, the second time I took my mother and sister to see this movie. Both times I enjoyed it, and I enjoyed this movie more and more as I watch it. And apparently this movie made a buttload of money. I haven't checked the special features on here, but I'd say I watched the movie once on Blu-ray, and I'd say this looks really good on Blu-ray, like, I really mean that, like, wow. <laughs> I have on Steelbook the Daniel Craig James Bond movies. I, to be honest, I have not seen any of the old James Bond movies, so, but I have, I have seen Quantum of Solace and Skyfall, but I have not seen Casino Royale, so, but, so I thought I caught this and finally watched Casino Royale. And now, to be honest, I wasn't going to see the new James, the new Daniel Craig James Bond movie, Spectre. But apparently when I purchased this, it came with a free ticket or $7 off to go see Spectre. So now that I got this, I think I might actually go see Spectre. I'm just going to pretty much marathon through all these and then go see the movie. So I think I'll see Spectre and be on the lookout for my review of that, if I decide to do a review of that. So... Otherwise, I picked out a couple of scenes on all three of these movies, and I'd say these are pretty good to watch on Blu-ray, so, yeah. And another reason why I bought this, because I actually have Skyfall on DVD, and I've been meaning to get the Blu-ray copy of Skyfall, so now not, not only I have Skyfall on Blu-ray, but I got the other two movies on Blu-ray, so now I have this, and I can probably give my DVD copy of Skyfall to someone else or so. <laughs> Next up, I have another double feature, or uh, Own the Moments type. Blu-ray Devil feature. And since it's October, sticking in the realm of Halloween, I bought 28 Days Later and 28 Weeks Later. Two of my favorite zombie movies, and I, I watched 20 Days Later a lot when I was younger, and they used to play it on TV. Pretty good. And I, and I actually watched 28 Days Later on Blu-ray, just a couple of scenes, and pretty good conversion on Blu-ray. I haven't watched 28 Weeks Later yet, but I'm pretty sure it's a good, pretty good conversion. One of my favorite Danny, Danny Boyle movies, so... And another thing is, apparently there is different endings of 28 Weeks Later I didn't even know about. I can't wait to watch those. And now for the last three movies that I actually bought today. First up, I have on Steelbook, Southpaw. I saw this movie in theaters. If you see my review of that, you know how I feel about it. But I, but you know, I was like, you know what? Screw it. It's by the numbers, but I liked it enough that I that I want to get it. So, yeah. And I copped a couple of scenes of this on Blu-ray. Pretty good. I need to watch this a second time so I can... Pretty much, my thoughts on the movies are still the same, though. But yeah, Southpaw, Jake Gyllenhaal, one of his best performances. Next up is a movie I actually haven't seen, and that is The Gift. Now, I'm hearing great things about this movie, and it's pretty fascinating that they threw release this movie real quick. Because this movie, this movie came out at the end of July, and now they're releasing on Blu-ray. But yeah, I'm going to check this movie out, and Joel Edgerton, I hear he's good at it. Like, he, this is his first directorial debut, so... Yeah, can't wait to watch this movie. And then, last but not least, <laughs> while I was grocery shopping, I found for five ninety nine another Own the Moments double feature Blu-ray, and that is of All Dogs Go to Heaven and Pebble and the Penguin. Now look here, I have never seen All Dogs Go to Heaven. The only reason why I got this is because of Pebble and the Penguin. Now, I remember I had the VHS copy of Pebble and the Penguin. I wore that VHS tape out, and I used to like it. But now as I grow older, I kind of realize, yeah, the movie wasn't really that good, and this movie is... Movie both of these movies really were made by Don Bluth and Pebble and the Penguin. It was it came out at the time when Don Bluth Productions, or Don Bluth himself animation, was starting to decline. And I even pop, looked at a couple of couple of my favorite scenes of Pebble and the Penguin on Blu-ray just now, and I was like, yeah, they could have polished this movie up a little bit. And and some of the animation in the movie just didn't really hold up. Now, granted, I know this movie came out in the early 90s, but even by early 90s standards, the animation doesn't hold up. And let alone by Disney standards, it doesn't hold up. And you can make, there's also an argument to be made by Disney and Don Bluth. Animation is completely different and have different styles, but still, it didn't really hold up. But nonetheless, I cop, I, was just, I just wanted this for Pebble and the Penguin, and for nostalgic reasons, I just wanted to have this, and so I can get rid of my DVD copy of Pebble and the Penguin. And plus, I haven't seen All Dogs of Heaven, so, hey, I get this with a free movie. So, think of it like that. So, yeah. 
So those are all the movies I bought in the month of October 2015. Be on the lookout for my video of movies I bought in November 2015. Pretty much all these, I'm pretty much going to enjoy watching them and watching commentaries of them. So yeah, <laughs> a lot here. And I can only imagine what November is going to look like, especially with Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Who knows, I'm going to find, probably going to find a lot of good movies for good deals. <laughs> The movies I bought in November is probably going to be stacked like this. <laughs> but did you enjoy this video? Let me know in the comment section below. And what did you think about the movies I bought? Have you seen them? What are, you, what are your takes on What is your take on it? And what do you think of the Blu-ray, if you have it or not? Let me know in the comment section below. That's it for the day. If you like what you see, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to my other channel. The links are in the description below. And be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Periscope, and MoviePilot. Peace.